<laughs> Idaho News 6. <laughs> now, meteorologist Eric Johnson with the Idaho News 6 forecast. Well, the, the weather could not have been more perfect to close out 2023. We saw blue skies, really not a cloud in the sky. Temperatures got up to about 47 degrees yesterday. It was a little bit chilly in the shade, but if you were out in the sun, it felt very pleasant and in Twin Falls, making it up to about 45 yesterday. Today is going to still be pretty pleasant, a touch cooler, and we also will watch that cloud cover building throughout the day, but it will stay dry even in the mountains. So if you're headed up maybe to do some skiing, snowshoeing or snowboarding, you are in good shape for today. We will watch again that cloud cover building. But as we move into Tuesday, we also see some sunshine uh, returning into the afternoon, but some fog and low stratus clouds throughout the morning as we are going to see that temperature inversion in place over the next couple of mornings. That should clear out by the end of the week as we see a storm system moving in and a pretty big pattern shift towards the weekend that is going to bring cooler than normal conditions. But what we really like to see is wetter than normal conditions. We'll see that snow for the mountains. And this is just going to be one of several storm systems that could impact Idaho over the next couple of weeks. And this could even bring some snow to the Treasure Valley. So let's time that out the next couple of days that uh, a high pressure ridge building in. So that's again going to keep those inversions in place through about Wednesday. And then we see a system moving in. To, uh, moving through to the southeast, It'll, this will brush parts of southwest Idaho and southeastern Oregon with some snow, but should avoid us here in the Treasure Valley. And then we dry things out Thursday into Friday. Friday evening, a frontal system moving through during the evening, and that could come with a pretty uh, heavy burst of rain and snow across Idaho. Also some very gusty winds, and that's going to also set the stage for some chilly air to move in into this weekend and our next storm system. This one could be pretty impactful with some heavier mountain snow, so we'll keep an eye on that and we'll keep you posted throughout the week as we get a little bit closer. We can uh, fine tune some of those details for you, but looking at today, low 40s, partly cloudy skies, a pretty pleasant day to start off 2024. 35 for us up in McCall. We've started the morning with poor visibility that should improve over the next couple of hours, but we're still looking at mostly cloudy skies throughout the day. A little bit more sunshine as you head further east into the Wood River Valley up to 41 today in Haley. And as you're heading south to the Magic Valley, looking at a little bit of patchy fog this morning, but mostly sunny skies into the afternoon and those temperatures hovering right around 40 degrees in the Magic Valley. So very pleasant day for us uh, if you do have plans to get outdoors. But the next couple of mornings again, we could wake up to some fog in the valley. And then as we do move through the rest of the week, those temperatures holding steady in the low 40s and then that storm system potentially bringing some accumulating snow by Saturday. And that's going to be the case for the Magic Valley as those temperatures start to fall below average. We'll be down into the low 30s by Sunday.